Hi, Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. A couple of weeks ago I turned this flower and accompanied it with a tulip flower and a uh, bud type flower that I was not very happy with. I was really trying for something else. A couple of you reminded me of Stuart King and uh, Larry from the Tiny Trailer Workshop and others. Thank you by the way for inserting those comments because they, they really do help. So I decided to correct that this week and show you the full version. Uh, so this is uh, a fuzzy flower, which more of the uh, of the style that I was after. Uh, this one is a simple change in using the skew to using it flat instead of vertical. And then I just also decided that I should add a little bit of color to these. They're very simple, very easy to make, but uh, just you may be curious as to the color, and of course you can do it with an airbrush. But for these, I didn't want to dig out the airbrush. I dug out my little, much less expensive little atomizer. Uh, for this, you just stick it in your die. Of course, you do have to get the correct angle here. and That takes a bit of fiddling, but it worked for me. So, this week, let's turn these. This will be a short video, but it'll be great. For this flower, I want absolutely fresh wood. I cut this branch about an hour ago. There were some leaves and blossoms, so no apples from this branch. The branch is held in my long nose jaws and removing some of the bark with a peel and cut with my skew. Then round over the end just a little bit. This is optional, I believe. Now for the flower fuzz. I'm cutting in from the end with the point of my skew with a very thin slice. Sorry, I did not measure it. I peel it back to near the bark with one steady cut. Then take another slice about the same depth and cut to where the fuzz is close to the previous cut fuzz. Then repeat until I reach the center. I select a color alcohol-based dye. Using a mouth atomizer and with the lathe running at turning speed, I can blow dye a couple of times from the color. This does not saturate the color and I like it. The alcohol evaporates immediately. I follow this immediately with a similar burst of rattle can lacquer. Finally, I can part off the blossom, trying to leave just a little bit of the bark. At the drill press, I drill a hole for a stand.
So now that you can make a full bouquet of flowers for Mother's Day or for spring celebration or whatever you please on that, go ahead and turn them. They're quick and easy. For these, I used very fresh applewood, and uh, I think that's uh, essential for this. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn them. But remember to always wear your full face shield. That's safety, essential safety, while you're working at the lathe.